if there's one thing that my family absolutely loves for a really quick lunch, it is grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup. Quesadillas for my family. Quesadillas. Oh, uh, yeah. that would be yeah. good too. But the tomato soup is a must. Yes, <laughs> yes. And, and we use it as a dip. I mean, it's fabulous. So I have really wanted to find my own brand of the tomato soup that, you know, that I could make from my garden. And that's set apart from just a normal store-bought can. This is just a basic tomato soup. Marie really outdid herself and made this over the top. So much so that we're calling it gourmet tomato soup. Right. I still think the best way to eat it, though, is with grilled cheese sandwiches. Of course. <laughs> Our first step is 13 pounds of tomatoes just needs to be quartered. Now that we have our tomatoes quartered, it is time to be adding the other vegetables. We're going to begin with four large onions that we have chopped up. You wanna chop them a little bit fine so that as they're cooking, they'll soften a little bit faster. Next, we're going to add one cup of finely chopped carrots. Two and a half cups of chopped celery. One tablespoon of minced garlic. Two cups of chopped peppers. These are the red peppers and seven bay leaves. And just Yum. out of curiosity, if any of you know why we take the bay leaves out later, let me know, I'm really curious. Yeah. You don't know why either, right? No, I don't know why, <laughs> it's just something I've always done. Right, yeah, me too. But I don't know that it really has to. Yeah, I'm curious, why don't we eat the bay leaves? Anyways, so now what we want to do is put this on the stove and we need to cook it until the vegetables are nice and soft so that Essentially, we're gonna puree them. Mm -hmm. So you see this is boiling so nicely and it's really gone down to having a lot of liquid. Even, even the tomatoes with the bigger cores are softer now, which is the big thing that I'm considering. So at this point, I would stir it around pull out the big bay leaves, and then we're gonna put it through the food mill. Now that our vegetables are soft, we're gonna go ahead and send them through the food mill. Now we wanna be careful here, they're actually quite hot. Oh, we forgot to take out the bay leaves. Bay leaves. At this point, whenever you see a bay leaf come through, you'll wanna pick them out. So I'll just keep an eye on them, looking for the bay leaves. So you can see how much extra there is and how much moisture there still is in this. So I run it through a second time. dryer it is but there's still plenty of good stuff in this so Emmeline is going to take this home and she's going to dehydrate it and then use it like as a soup base or something yeah right? who knows what <laughs> so with these food mills a lot of times there'll be large quantities of food that are still left mm -hmm. on the uh, on the, the grinder part yeah what do we want to call that filter on filter, the strainer, strainer yeah mm -hmm. So, a lot of times if you can get to it, I like adding it to my stuff. I don't want to catch it though because it's really hot. So we're just going to put it right in this tray and add it to the soup for the first one. Okay. So, you know, these can all get washed. 
now that our tomato soup has gone through the food mill, it's it's beautiful. It is gorgeous. I mean, if you take a look. They said that you can even run this through a blender in order to get it even more smooth than this, but this is absolutely perfect. Right. I actually, I don't, I don't need it any finer than this. I, I think this I is great. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the next thing that we're going to add to it is three fourths of a cup of brown sugar. That'll kind of clump. So, ooh, that's what I was trying to, trying to avoid. <laughs> With the moisture, it'll melt down. Mm -hmm. It is. Okay. And one teaspoon of ground clove. Now that ground oh, clove. Oh, that is, really adds, right. It's <laughs> really interesting just how much that changes the soup. It does. Yeah. That's why this is gourmet. Mm -hmm. Then we have two teaspoons of salt. And an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. An eighth of a teaspoon is also known as a dash. We're going to mix that in and then bring it up to a simmer for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Our tomato soup is done simmering and it is now time to fill our jars. I can't wait for you to try this. I know, I'm excited. Half an inch of headspace. Is that what we're needing to do? Yes, half an inch. Actually, let me double check that. Hold on. Okay, because it could be a four. It could be a whole inch. It is a whole inch. Oh, a whole inch. Okay, I'll stop right there. So, an inch of headspace, which is, of course, the distance from the top of your food to the top of the jar. No guessing on it. You gotta make sure you know. <laughs> I would have just done the wrong amount. That's good. Let's see. I can get them around here for you. Approximately eight pint sized jars. It's hot. It is hot. in a jar, just pull some of it out. Are we doing? Are we gonna have extra? Good. Oh, I'm hoping we have enough to just make ourselves some soup. Yeah. We're gonna reserve one of the uh, jars worth out for you guys, so we can show you how to make how to make it. two more so let's get at least one jar out and see I always find it amazing that no matter how many times uh -huh. I make something it will it will be different amounts you oh know? I know yeah 
We're right on from, look at that, the last pint. Yeah, no, that's fabulous. It would be like the tiniest bit short, but by the time we scrape this down a little bit, it'll be perfect. Perfect, so that's the one that we're gonna hold out just so that we can show you how to do it. They're hot. Ooh, just enough room for one more. Good thing we didn't need to process that one. Oh, we could really squeeze through it. We're gonna process these in the pressure canner for 20 minutes at 10 pounds of pressure if you're at sea level. We're at 1,200 feet, so we're gonna do it at 11 pounds of pressure. If you're unsure how altitude affects your canning processing time, go ahead and check out our canning basics video for altitude adjustment. Also, if you need a refresher or a tutorial on how to use a pressure canner, we have a Canning Basics playlist that has that for you as well. So now we want to show you how to make this soup. So we're going to take our one pint right. of the tomato soup. And ours is really hot right now, and for the sake of time on the video, we're not going to reheat everything all together, but normally I would do this in a saucepan. You put in half a cup of milk, or cream if you wanted it to be a little bit richer. Mm -hmm. And you stir it together, heat it up until it's the temperature that you want. So let's, um, I want to taste it before I go dunking my... Uh, well, let's uh, put we some into our little containers here. We'll move this out of the way so you guys can see it really well. I'm really excited to try this. Okay. There we go. Okay, I want to try it without the sandwich first, because sure. I want to get the full effect yeah, get a of the pure. flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That is the best tomato so soup I've ever eaten. It's just a little bit different, huh? Those cloves really add to it, don't they? Mm-hmm. Mm, yum. Yeah, all these different flavors that just kind of roll around in your mouth. And we're hungry right now. <laughs> <laughs> We've been canning for a while. 14 hours and six videos. Yeah, if we like, look tired, there's a reason for it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then, of course, my favorite way to eat the tomato soup mm -hmm. with a sandwich. So delicious. Mm -hmm. If you guys are enjoying all of these canning videos that we're making for you, make sure that you click the like, subscribe, and notification button so that you know when we post the next ones. We are pulling out the tomato soup. We just ate it for dinner. It's delicious. Very good. Don't expect it to taste like Campbell's though, because it's a completely different flavor. Mm -hmm. Like we said, this is gourmet. <laughs> And it has quite an array of flavors within uh -huh. it. I mean, you can pick out the cloves, you can pick out the vegetables that are in it. It's delicious. No, I think it's really intriguing flavor. Oh, you can hear them popping. I know, that one's like, I wanna, uh, it's trying to seal, it keeps going down and up. It's really getting close. It says, I'm just about there. I know, they look so great. Last one. Or is there two more? One. That one? Eight pints. And they made a few Nine, more ten, because 11. we... 11. We, we've had to open some because <laughs> the, the kids said, we're hungry. Right. <laughs> we're like, wait, we haven't processed these. We'll just pull them out. <laughs> so it made 11 pints. It did, which is fabulous. Now, depending on the tomatoes you use, you might get a little bit less. Mm -hmm. um, I've gotten anywhere from eight up to 11. So that's good. Mm -hmm. If you're enjoying these videos that we're making for you, make sure that you click the like button, subscribe, and ding the notification bell so that every time we post, you get notified that a new video is up. And don't miss our premieres, which are on Mondays at 2. Mm -hmm.